in the new update for Adobe Captivate 9, we have added rulers and guides to help you accurately place objects on the project stage. Let's take a look at the workflow to use rulers and guides in your Captivate projects. To show the rulers for your project, go ahead and click View and then select Show Rulers. This will bring up the rulers for your interface. For the non-responsive projects, the unit of measurement available is pixels. But for responsive courses, you have the rulers available in both pixels and percentage. However, the default view is in percentage. To change it to pixels, you can right click anywhere on the ruler and change it to pixels. Now let's go back to the non-responsive project and see how we can add guides to our courses. There are several ways to add guides to your project. One of the ways is to click on the ruler and drag the guide from there. You can do it for adding a horizontal guide as well as a vertical guide. Also, to get a precise guide, you can go to the pixel value on the ruler and double click there to get a guide. Also, if you wish to place a guide next to the guide that has already been created, just hover over the guide, right click and say add new guide. This will create a guide 20 pixels to the right for the vertical guides and for the horizontal guides, it will be 20 pixels to the bottom. You can also go to the view menu and create an individual guide by clicking new guide. This will allow you to select whether you want to create a horizontal or a vertical guide and then the exact pixel position where you want the guide to appear. Hitting enter will add the guide to the stage. If you wish to delete the guide, just hover over the guide and right click and select delete guide. And if you wish to delete all the guides on the stage, you can go to the view menu and click clear guides. This will delete all the guides from the stage. There's one more way to add guides and that is to go to the view menu and add multiple guides by clicking the create multiple guides button. Add the details and then hit OK. This will add all the guides on the stage. To move the guides is also very simple in Captivate. You can simply click and drag the guide and you will be able to precisely position it where you want. If you have created your guides and now you wish to start adding objects, you can go ahead and click view and then lock the guides. This will not move the guides when you are trying to add the objects. Another good thing to do when you are adding the objects is to click the view menu and select snap to guide. Now when you add objects to this particular project, it will snap to the guide. Let's go ahead and add a shape here. I'll go ahead and draw a circle and when I move this circle, you can see precisely I get some guiding points where uh, it will easily go and snap to that particular guide to give me perfect positioning. You can also change the color of these guides and you can also decide the exact range within which this object snaps to guides. This is called the snap to zone. Let's go ahead and see how we can adjust it. If you are on a Mac system, you can click Adobe Captivate and select Preferences. If you are on Windows, you'll find the option under Edit menu. So let's go to the Preferences dialog. Here we need to go to the default category and you will get an option to change the default guide color. You can click it and then select the color that you wish for your guide. I'll go ahead and select this pink. And here I can also change the snap to guide offset. Once the changes are done, you can go ahead and click OK and those changes will be applied to your project. Now let's go to the responsive project. I'll go ahead and open the responsive project here and you can see that we had changed it to pixels. So right now the values are shown in pixels. Here if I go and drag a vertical guide to say 300 pixels and when I go to the tablet mode, this guide is again at the 300 pixel and in the mobile as well, it appears at 300 pixel. Let's go back to the primary view and this time let's go ahead and change it to percentage, which is the default setting. Here I'll go ahead and add a guide at 30 and notice the difference that you see in the other modes. Here in the tablet view, you see this blue line following the percentage and the purple line following the pixels value. And you can also notice that when you add guides, when you are in percent mode, you get a blue line. And if you are in the pixel mode, you will get a purple line. 
These colors, similar to the non-responsive projects, can be changed in the preferences dialog.